Hi folks, today we're going to look at marketing formulas and calculations. In this video, we're going to look at market size, market share, market growth. Um, although price elasticity and income elasticity are important for marketing, we're going to cover those in a different video because they're slightly different and we need to consider different things for those. So let's start with market size. When you're looking at market size, you're looking at the total value of the sales for a particular product. So for instance, if I want to know the market size of denim, for instance, I can Google it and I can see that in 2019, it was about $90 billion worldwide. That's the value of sales that were made of denim products. In 2023, it's expected to go up to $105 billion. When calculating market size, you can do it in two ways. You can either Look at all the potential people that could possibly buy your product and times that by the average kind of sale price of a product that you're selling. Or you can look at the current sales of um, the kind of product that you are selling in the marketplace. So like I just told you, denim, um, there were $90 billion worth of sales for denim in 2019. So you could set that if you were in 2019 or 2020, you could decide that that was your market size. However, if you're releasing a new product into a market or something that hasn't really become popular yet, you might want to look at all the people that could potentially ever buy your product. And then you might want to times that by the average kind of sale price of your product to understand the market size. Why is this important? Because the bigger the market is, the easier it might be to get a piece of it. Or smaller, more niche markets might be easier for you to break into if you can see the potential of them growing. So the example that I might give you is for people on a vegan diet. If you go back 10, 15 years, there wasn't really much for them in supermarkets or in restaurants, for instance. And if you would have identified that market as a niche market that was very small at that time but had the potential to grow, you might start uh, a business that supplies supermarkets with vegan ready-made meals, for instance. And so that's why you want to know the size of a market. The next calculation is for market share. And that is the percentage of the of overall market held by one particular business or a product or a particular brand. For example, if the total value of a market is £10 million and you make £1 million worth of sales, you own 10% of that market. Why is this important? Because as time goes by, you want to be able to claim more and more of that market. You want to see your share grow. And this tells you how competitive you are. If you see your market share shrinking, that means all the people are entering the market and taking your market share away from you. Finally, we're going to look at market growth. And this is looking at what is happening to the size of your market over time. So you might compare the size of your market over a couple of years. So this is the percentage growth in the size of the market measured over a specific period. So you might compare the size of your market from last year to this year and calculate the percentage difference. Now, remember, the percentage difference formula is difference divided by original times 100. So you should get a percentage. And I've done one for you on the screen. Now, why is this final one important? It's because it tells you if the market is growing or shrinking. And depending on whether it's growing or shrinking, you can decide whether to invest more money into this market. So if the fizzy drinks market is growing, you can then try and create more fizzy drinks and put more money into research and development. Or if it's shrinking, you might then decide to diversify and change a little bit and invest more in healthy drinks, for instance. It also tells you whether you should enter new markets. So you might be keeping an eye on a new market or a new type of product that has come out. And you might realize that over the past three years, you've seen that grow. So you might decide to invest in it. All of these calculations give you clues and they help a business decide what they should do next. So for instance, the market size for a new business will tell them whether to enter a market or not. Is it worth it? Is there enough money to be made? A market share 
will tell you who the key players are if it's before you enter a market and also helps you measure up against the key players. So for instance, if some of the smaller businesses have 5%, that's what you can aim for in your first kind of 10 years to really kind of make a wave in that market. As you get more established, you'll then start comparing yourself in terms of market share to other more dominant players. Market growth tells you whether you should stay in a market and whether it's worth pursuing the product that you're pursuing or whether your research and development should be focusing in other areas. 